What is up YouTube and welcome to this Supergirl, Sabrina and Legion video. So if you're new to the channel, please do drop a like and please do subscribe down below. Click that bell button to get notifications. Just to let you know, we'll be streaming tomorrow night, Saturday night at 9pm, rough, roughly 9pm UK time. We'll be playing some Batman Telltale Season 2 on the PC. So, I was was unsure whether to bring you more Supergirl, because I just did a video that contained Supergirl as well. But, this was too interesting not to do. It appeared on comicbook.com just a couple of minutes after I uploaded my Brainiac 5 video, which you can go and check out now after this video. But, the synopsis for Supergirl episode 11 of season 3 has been revealed, and it's... It's weird, so let's take a look at this. Supergirl teams up with Saturn Girl, Livewire, and Psy. As Rain continues to terrorize the city, Supergirl teams up with Saturn Girl, and the two recruit Supergirl's former enemies, Livewire and Psy, to form a team for a mission to Fort Ross to recover a prisoner who has information on how to defeat Rain once and for all. Meanwhile, Alex babysits Ruby. So, that is going to be episode 11 of season 3. Very, very weird one here. We're getting our own version, a, a Supergirl version of the Suicide Squad here. With Livewire and Psy, with Supergirl and Saturn Girl. Which is weird because, well, Supergirl's ex's new girl is actually teaming up. Uh, it's, it's weird. That's just a really weird thing. It was weird enough that she invited them both round for Christmas. I was like, that's, that's weird, man. That's just odd. They're like, just don't do that. Although, Saturn Girl seems to be a fangirl of Supergirl, considering that, well, the Legion was set up to honour her. I guess that's that's why. But, it's it's really cool we're going back to Fort Roz here. When The first season, I was like, they kept saying Fort Roz. I was like, that's just, a, they've got an odd, that's an odd name. I always thought it was Fort Ross for ages until you see it in print and you actually see that it's Fort Ross. It's just the American accent. But it's quite cool that we're going to be seeing these return. I really did like Livewire. I thought she was really good. I really did like Sai as well. And considering like the girl power nature of this show, considering that it is, is a female lead, well... I think it makes sense that we're getting an all-female episode here. I think that's quite cool, to be honest. I think a lot of the female, a lot of the villains are mainly female here on Supergirl and across really all of the CW shows. So having these female villains actually work together is going to be a lot of fun. I think the dynamic on screen is going to be interesting. They're doing brand new things here, which is really really cool. We're getting new storylines, which is always good and i'm interested to see who is the person who actually has information on rain i would presume it's someone like zod who was a criminal on krypton so someone who was a criminal on krypton would know all about rain or possibly someone who's like a political prisoner again would be an interesting thing there maybe this could be a hint that maybe the mother of Supergirl survived in some way. And that's why they changed the actress for the mother. And had simply got someone who was in a high profile position. The the person who played Lois Lane in Smallville. And that's why they got her. Because they want her to be on the show a bit more. But that's just me really speculating that it's probably going to be a villain. To be honest, that they are going to find. However, we also have big news in the Riverdale verse, which I'm going to dub this really here, with The Chilling Tales of Sabrina is coming to Netflix, which is really, really weird that they're choosing to do Netflix as opposed to have actually having it on the CW, which makes me think that maybe we won't get the crossover between Riverdale and Sabrina that we were all really, really hoping for. Now, the role of Sabrina has been much, much talked about as to who will actually be playing the role. Now, this isn't your mama's version of Sabrina, or this this isn't the 90s version of Sabrina. This is going to be the dark, chilling tales 
version based on the Archie comics Chilling Tales of Sabrina, which is absolutely fantastic. And I really highly recommend checking that out if you are a fan. You can check my links down below in my description to Comixology. I don't get any kind of kickbacks or anything like that on there. It's literally just a link to Comixology, I believe. And also... You can get Comixology through Amazon, which, for disclosure, I do, I believe, get some sort of link, a kind of, I'd say, affiliate link there. So that's full disclosure for you there. But you can simply, if you don't want to give any anything like that, you can just go elsewhere. Maybe to your local library. Funny enough, if you want to read comics in the UK, you can go to your local library. They will have the most up-to-date graphic novels as well. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. That's how I used to read them back in the day when I had no moolah. But this Sabrina is going to be played by a Mad Men cast member the, by the name of Kiernan Shipka. Hope, I hope I've pronounced that, na- that name correctly there. But she is more, more recognisable as Don Draper's daughter on Mad Men. And I can really see this working. She was really, really good on Mad Men. She was really good. And she, she started to turn evil on the show and turn really bad. And her acting was actually better than January Jones's, who was the mother, who played her mother on Mad Men. So that's really, really awesome there that we're getting that. I think that this is going to be a great, great show. And the show's creative said, we're all such huge fans of Kiana's work that when we started talking about who this new incarnation of Sabrina could be, her name was everyone's wish list. This is a darker, more macabre version of Sabrina. And we're incredibly excited for people to see Kiernan make this iconic character her own. So that's quite big. We're getting a lot of news coming out now. Out of the TCA 20, uh, winter 2018 here. So this is like the, the Critics Association. We're getting a lot of news. And over the next couple of days. we This weekend we will have a hell of a lot of news. Based on TV. And really... Another thing which has come out which is absolutely freaking awesome is the fact that Legion will be coming back this April. So Legion, which if you didn't know, we did cover it on this channel. It is the tale of Charles Xavier's son, Legion. He is an ex- well, a, a mutant, of course, of infinite power. And Legion Season 1, which if you haven't seen it, it is stunning it really is a fantastic show one of the best shows in my opinion of last year apart from atlanta which is also coming back very very soon so it's going to be really really cool as well seeing this show come back dan stevens playing david haller which is legion he is gonna he was just amazing in this and the fact that it's coming back in april is going to be awesome now if you will remember we actually had the villain of the piece the shadow king so we've actually got someone cast to play the shadow king and in season two we'll be having david negaban will be playing the role of the shadow king on the show aka amal farouk who is a psychic mutant who fought charles xavier and we've got to see that hinted in the show as well so it also in X Men news, Gifted will be coming back for season two as well. So that has that has been renewed just before the season finale. So that is it for this video. Please do drop a like. Please do subscribe. I'll see you soon. And goodbye.